Live and breathe, unraveling English idioms. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English idiom, live and breathe. This phrase is rich in meaning and often used in everyday English conversation. We're going to explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to help you understand it better. So, let's get started. The phrase, live and breathe, is used to describe a situation where someone is very passionate about something or extremely dedicated to a particular activity, subject, or cause. When you say someone lives and breathes something, you mean that it's a huge part of their life and they devote a lot of time and energy to it. While the exact origins of this phrase are not clear, it's believed to have stemmed from the idea that certain activities or passions are as essential to a person as living and breathing. In modern usage, it's often applied to hobbies, careers, or any field of interest. For example, he lives and breathes basketball, means that basketball is not just a hobby but a significant part of his identity. To help you grasp the concept better, let's look at a few examples. 1. My grandmother lives and breathes gardening. Her backyard is her own personal paradise. 2. She lives and breathes music. There's not a day she's not playing her guitar or writing songs. 3. The scientist lives and breathes his research on renewable energy, working tirelessly to innovate. These examples show how the phrase can be used to express a deep and abiding passion for something. It's important to note that, live and breathe, is a figurative expression and should be used in appropriate contexts. It's perfect for situations where you want to emphasize someone's passion, dedication, or commitment. However, it might be too strong for casual interests or hobbies. And that's a wrap on, live and breathe. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase confidently in your conversations. Remember, English is a rich language full of expressions that can add color and depth to your communication. Keep learning, and don't forget to live and breathe your English language journey. See you in the next video.